All indicators are filters. Now what if you had an indicator that helped you identify a noisy market where you had either a period of consolidation or you had an opportunity for a mean reversion trade? Or what if you had an indicator that helped you identify an optimal time to enter a trend trade? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna go over in this video. So in this video, we're gonna check out this indicator right here, the Kaufman Efficiency Ratio. We'll check out some details, what the indicator is composed of, and then we're going to add on an entry indicator to see how this entry filter indicator helps to assist us filter out those bad trades, which is what we're all about. So let's go ahead, let's get to it. Now here we are on tradingtac.com. The link will be in the description below, but you can see that the ER or efficiency ratio serves to quantify the amount of market noise. Noise is a random and erratic price movement that surrounds any underlying market direction. Now down below that for the calculation, you can see that the ER is calculated as the absolute net change in price divided by the sum of the individual price changes over that period closing prices are used. You can see that the efficiency ratio, the uh, actual formula is right here. This does, this gives an example so you can see exactly how everything is calculated. So definitely check it out. And I'll also have the link of this down in the description below, but here will be the indicator itself. Um, it is the efficiency ratio market noise by Alejandro P by Blue Capital Trading. And you can see one of the cool elements here is that there actually is a directional option when it comes to this indicator. So you can see the positive elements as well as the negative elements. However, what we'll see in a moment here is we're going to use the absolute values. Everything we're gonna keep is going to be in the positive. So it'll look like this bottom part right here. If you wanna look into more details, you could definitely check it out. The cool thing is that they actually give a comparison between this and the price density indicator. If you have any the opportunity to check out my other video on the price density indicator, it will be above and in the description below. But it's very similar in that it's trying to calculate the price movements and it's trying to see what is going to be the market noise. However, unlike the price density indicator, the higher the value, the more efficient price is moving. And the lower value, you're going to see less efficiency. So it's basically going to be the opposite of the price density indicator. And now looking up on the screen here, I did pull up two uh, efficiency ratios. So you can see the way it looks as default. And if we're gonna go ahead and pull it up, all you need to do is type in efficiency ratio. It should pop up uh, the market noise again by Alejandro P by Blue Capital Trading. But like I said, the bottom one is going to be what it looks like by default. And if you click on this, you'll see that there is an option to use the directional efficiency ratio. And if you click on that, you'll see that you have both the positive and the negative elements. However, we're not gonna go ahead and use that. Now you'll see the defaults here. There are different levels. You have an extreme level, a high level, and a low level. And of course, the default length will be of 10. But for our purposes, you could definitely, uh, I would say, customize it, change the inputs. On the top here, we have a length of eight. And then I did change the low level to 50, which will correlate to the style. You'll have a zero color, one, two, and three. And we're going to keep all these three colors green as well as keeping, or we'll change the uh, third color to red. So now let's go ahead and let's see exactly what this indicator is telling us. Now, when we have the red columns with our new settings, off of the default, that's when we will not be taking any, let's say, long signal, buy signal, or a sell signal. We're not gonna go short. We're going to be looking for these green columns. Those are going to be the green light just to take any trade, doesn't matter which direction. So you can see exactly here that from about here to here, this is a high noise area and we will not be taking any trades. But on the other hand, where we see all these green columns right here, this will be a time to take a trade. And this is why this indicator is really powerful for trend trading because it'll help identify when, again, as it says in the name, where price is moving more efficiently. And so we see this actual big move occurring when we have those green columns. And now let's go ahead and let's take an entry indicator. We're going to look at the RSI OMA. If you haven't seen my previous video, I did do a deeper dive into this indicator as an entry indicator, go ahead, check it up above or down in the link in the description below. But I did add the indicator and I did make some edits to it. You can see here that when it comes to the inputs, I changed the MA period to five, the RSI period to 10. We are using the comma. And then when it comes to the style, I eliminated the uh, RSI and signal lines, kept the price action, the change in price action, the price long action, these green squares, these green red squares, you can see down at the bottom. And I removed the plots back. Background. So 
that combined with our efficiency ratio with the settings that we went over before you can see everything is the same we have a, a, a length of eight we did ha we do have the low level uh, up to 50 the style we have the zero one and three changed to green and the third to red and we're going to see how this actually helps us to filter out these bad trades. And you can see first off, the main place I want to highlight here are these back and forth whiplash entry trades that we have here. Now, these trades right here would have been totally eliminated. You could see down below there in the red, we would have caught this one right here, but that would have been, let's say one bad trade out of four. And if you look over to the next signal that we get a sell signal this would have been a win right here so there's a little bit more efficiency that's going on with uh, price action in this area and that's where we're able to get that positive signal you can see here that we do have these other signals where these ups and downs let's say a false buy signal and then this sell signal would have been good to go looks like we have a green column right there this would have been a trade but this one wouldn't have. So we could see that it's really picking up a lot of areas where if we wanted to catch a trend trade, this would be really optimal. We're trying to stay out of the noise. So where that price is really inefficient, then we're not going to be taking any sort of trades. The Kaufman efficiency ratio, a great indicator for trend trading, or if you haven't seen my other video where we use this actually for a reversal entry, definitely check it over there. You'll see it in a little box. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the bell notification if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any indicators that you're curious to learn a little bit more about, how it can maybe fit into a trading strategy, definitely let me know. But hey, other than that, safe trading out there. Keep doing the darn thing, and I'll see you on the next one.